Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Today is Wednesday. It's the start of a new vlog now that I'm doing two vlogs a week. This vlog I'm going to be talking about my style change. <sighs> my style change, yes. Um, I finally have a name for my style and that is Coastal French Cowgirl. I always have had a place in my heart for cowgirl. Um, pieces, purses, style. And so now I'm just solidifying, so solidifying it, and then also with that little French aesthetic. So, yes, we're going to be talking about that today. So it is, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I woke up at 6.30, and it felt good because I already did a lot, and I felt like I, I already did, like, my post I had to do for Alyssa Dinette and my page. Um, I'm about to go bake a cake for my sister. It's her birthday tomorrow, so we're having a big dinner Um together with some family. So um, I'm gonna make a cake. I have to go get some fresh flowers for the cake and for her to for tomorrow. And then um, I'm gonna film with you guys and explain my style change to you and show you a couple options of what makes a coastal French cowgirl. Um, and I'll show you maybe like two outfits as well. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go make a coffee really quick and then I'm gonna bake the cake and then I'm gonna sit down and talk with you guys. Then I have to edit my vlog that comes out tomorrow on Thursday. So remember, every Monday and every Thursday a new video comes out at 8 a.m. Pacific time just for you. I have on some earrings, some silver earrings, um, real silver earrings, and then I have these little flower clips from Madewell and just curls my hair and did my hair. I have this oversized button up with my um, like uh, biker shorts. <laughs> now that I'm 29 weeks, um, it's just wild. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 29 weeks, 11 more weeks. I feel like it's a good countdown now on the vlog. <laughs> um, baby girl is kicking so much. This morning I woke up and I was like, press. And he's like, what? I'm like, she just is kicking the hardest I've ever felt. Like you can like, cause she's head down already. So her feet are up here. So she is kicking. Like it was like a rumble. Like you saw it and Preston's like, oh, look, that was the biggest kick we've ever felt. And so we're like both like, oh my gosh, this little girl. Um, but yeah, so we have 11 more weeks. Every two weeks I have my doctor check up. So it, it goes by so fast. Um, and it's been good. God is good. So um, let's go make the cake. I want some morning decaf coffee. Uh, Preston's coming home from a job he had. And then he goes to work a little later. So like I'll have time by myself to edit and just like clean up and do all that jazz with you guys. Um, this vlog is going to be one day only. So it is today. Um, let's go make that coffee really quick. And we bake this cake. After I'm done baking the cake, we're going to talk about Coastal French Cowgirl. just baked two cakes. I actually have a timer on one of them. It's almost done. 16 minutes left. But um, I want to talk to you about my style change. Um, and that's been a big part about what I've been thinking about is what is my style? When someone says, what is your style? Pinpoint it. Or um, what, like I 
I buy so much stuff, but it just needs to be like narrowed down. So that's why I said my style is coastal French cowgirl. My cousin was, uh, she mentioned it to me, coastal cowgirl. I'm like, I've been seeing that. But I added the French part, coastal French cowgirl, because if you come to my house, it's more French. It has like the, it has more French style, okay, mixed with country, which is so funny, but that's always been my style. So when I started seeing coastal cowgirl, I was like, no way, like that is my style. Um, so yes, my cousin helped me pinpoint it, little did she know. Um, <laughs> but coastal French cowgirl is my style. I've always been a big fan of like straight flare jeans and I would put cowgirl boots underneath. Um, I always would go for cowgirl style inspired items. I always went for the boots that look more cowgirl, the purses, the shirts. My brother-in-law always looks for horse vintage items for me with um, shirts with horses and vintage. Like that's so me. Ever since I was a little girl, I liked Jessie the cowgirl and I was sold when I watched Toy Story 2. And I literally started a collection of Jessie. I had sweater, I had shirts, I had pajamas, I had jackets, and I have all her toys. So, <laughs> dolls and stuff. So, Jessie was my a little inspiration when I was a little girl. So, now I'm just modifying it and making it more my style because I've always went for that. Even when I worked at Paige Denim, I went for all the Western inspired themes. The, a shirt that says Howdy and horse um, um, with um, like cowgirl hats and I would always get the shoes and the boots that look more western. It's always been a part of me. And when I was little I did horseback riding lessons. I did western style and so I've been a cowgirl at heart my whole life. But I'm mixing it more with a California flair because I don't open my back door my back door and I'm like in the country. No, I'm like 15, 45 miles from the, a beach. So like it is more coastal and more California. So um, that's what I wanted to explain to you guys. If you guys are like, what is Christian style? Hey, it's coastal fringe cowgirl. And I just figured it out and I'm, you know, I now I'm like, okay, it makes sense. I'm looking at my rack. I'm like it, that is more country, like coastal French cowgirl. You know, it has that cowgirl theme, but little more French style with like the pleats and the florals and all that so yeah I encourage you find your style it makes getting ready it makes shopping it makes everything easier because you're like that is me that's my style and it just helps you kind of stay on track with your style and items that work for you because I have a Chloe unboxing I'm gonna do with you guys I think not this week I think it's next week scheduled um and that's so like Western inspired. So like everything I buy is like Western inspired. So I would say items like this, like my little Gucci purse. This is so Western inspired with the jean. Um, so I like I go for items like this, you know. I really do go for items like this. Let me make sure I'm. There we go. I go for items like that, and also too like hats. I always have like a cowgirl inspired hat. My sister gave me this one. And I have clips on right now, but um, let's lower the clips. So like I always went for hats like this. Always. This has always been my my thing. <laughs> and then um, let's see here. And then cowgirl boots. I've always gone to Boot Barn. Boot Barn is my jam. Every time I go there, I purchase a pair. And it's dangerous because I have a lot of cowgirl boots that I need to wear more of. Um, but yeah, so like these boots are one of my favorites. I have a lot of cowgirl boots. Um, but yeah, Coastal Cowgirl, she has a pair of boots. You can find some at thrift stores. You can find some consignment stores. But if you're trying to do that Coastal Cowgirl theme, you need a pair of boots make sure they're leather and make sure they're good like good condition because cowgirl boots are definitely leather um find cute hats like this one i think this one's rag and bone from my sister she gave me that um and then like little just little western inspired things i i like have so much stuff like i don't want to pull out everything but especially to a lot of my stuff is in my shed because I have more maternity clothes out right now. 
But yes, coastal cow cowgirl French, you know, coastal French cowgirl is so me. Um, it really is me. It's just so funny. But I'm like, now I'm like, okay, now I know my style and I know like what it's called. Because people would ask me like, what's your style? Where do you like to shop? I'm like, or what's your house style? I'm like, I'm like country French, but not like crazy country French. I'm like right in the middle. Like it's just really funny. But now that I know what I am, <laughs> know what my style is, it does make um, shopping a lot easier. Like this purse, I knew right away because there was one that had blue on it and different kind of like, um, this one's more of a jean, but there were different other materials. But I'm like, nope, I know what style I am. Um, even boots, I know what style I am. So that helps a lot when you kind of, when you find out what your style is, it makes life and getting ready and shopping so much easier. So I'm probably going to show you two to three outfits in the mirror. Um, I'm going to have to film them probably myself in the mirror. Preston's currently at work, so um, I'll figure it out. But yeah, let me go get the cake. I have a couple minutes left where the cake is baking. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some outfits in the mirror and what Coastal Cowgirl, Coastal French Cowgirl is for me. First outfit is going to be, I have a black maternity tank. I have these maternity jean shorts. This linen white button up, rag and bone hat, got my earrings on, and then I have my cowgirl boots. So I'll show you this outfit in the mirror, but oh my gosh. See, this is totally me. Throw a hat, cowgirl boots, and I have these um, denim shorts, maternity, that are so cute. So like coastal, like cowgirl, um, you wear, to get that cowgirl look, wear jean shorts and cowgirl boots. And yeah, you're good to go. I'm really not, um, if you look up coastal cowgirl looks like on Pinterest and Lemon A and all those apps, like, you know, um, you see a lot of like dresses and flowy dresses or short dresses and lots of crop tops. I'm not a big fan of crop tops, so, <laughs> um, or like two piece sets and stuff, but, um, I would, I will wear a good dress or a good button up over right now, especially that I'm pregnant. I like to be a little more covered up. But yes, this is totally me. Totally me. I'm going to show you the outfit full length in the mirror. But yeah, I got these maternity jean shorts as well. They're pretty cute. Pretty cute. Baby girl is getting bigger <laughs> day by day, video by video. Let me show you this outfit, the full look in the mirror. Okay, so here's the cowgirl hat white button up okay we come back shorts and then here's the boots these are the golo boots that i got at free people on freepeople.com so this is outfit number one for coastal cowgirl i'll be wearing these a lot this summer this summertime Let's go on to outfit number two. Outfit number two is this free people dress. It hugs baby so perfect. I threw on my Gucci purse. Woo! And I threw on my white cowgirl boots. I'll show you the full outfit in the mirror. But I'm like, oh my gosh, my tummy is so big. Oh, she's so big now. It's just like, oh. It's filling in this dress really well. So this is outfit number two as a coastal French cowgirl. I might do one more or two more for y'all. But yeah, so this is another example of this print. It's more like a Western vibe. Then I threw on the Gucci and I'll show you the white boots in the mirror. Okay, so this is outfit number two. I threw this dress on. Baby girl. And then I threw these white cowgirl boots on. So this is how it looks. And the Gucci. So this is outfit number two. Hair down, hoop earrings. And yeah, good to go. Outfit number two.
Okay, so last look is this dress that I've worn a couple times already. It's my favorite dress, but it's so coastal cowgirl. The print is just beautiful. So you can see it's one of my favorite dresses. Then I just threw this cardigan on top, which is so cute because coastal weather is very cold. And so it's like always you always have like a cardigan in your car or with you in California, you always need a cardigan. So um, that's total the coastal um, cowgirl aesthetic that I just threw my Golo little brown cowgirl boots. I'll show you with the mirror. But this is outfit number three. So I'm doing three outfits. I would do more, but honestly, like my outfits are very slim right now. With the jeans, I can't really do. I only had those shorts. I do have like a boot, um, a flare. I do have one flare. Maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. But um, yeah, so this is the outfit. This is outfit number three. I do have a boot. Hmm, should I do the boot really quick? Hmm, debating. We'll see. I think I'm gonna leave it here, but if I feel like it, feel like I need to sit down, take a break. She's kicking a lot on this side, and I'm like, oh, having to hold her. But um, yeah, so outfit number three. This is totally coastal French cowgirl, um, my style. <laughs> um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up and change. I have to run to Trader Joe's to get flowers for my sister for her birthday tomorrow, and I need to get her a birthday card, and I'm looking for a frame for the baby shower. So, I'll be back. I'll probably, I'll do, oh, I might take you along with me, we'll see. But um, then when I get back, I gotta edit my vlog, then I'll end the vlog there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. stores I sat down and did some editing still doing some editing but I did most of it um, I'm letting the computer charge up so I can use the outputs for the hard drive and the camera um, yeah so I went to get fresh flowers for my sister's birthday party tomorrow they're right there I put them in a vase and then I'm gonna put them in smaller vases tomorrow her cake is done so I'm gonna frost that tomorrow and then I want to show you guys what I got um, I was looking for a big picture frame for the baby shower because I'm gonna put the baby girl's sonogram that I want people to sign the picture frame so we can have it in like memory of her um, baby shower. So let me show you. So I was looking all over. I saw some at Home Goods the other day. So I was like, oh, let me just go there. I was looking for something gold, but I have wood in my room as well and I have a lot of wood frames throughout my house. So I actually found this one that is beyond perfect. And when I saw it, when I grabbed it, it was on sale, like marked down. I was like, okay, this is like meant to be. So look at how tiny the picture is. <laughs> and then everyone could sign here and put like something for the baby. Um, a little no, a little something little and something cute for the baby. So this is perfect amount so people can actually like write, write something. They just don't have to put their name. They can put like advice or they can just write a cute little note to baby girl. So I thought that was so cute. It was only $15. I was like, you cannot beat that. Then I found my sister a cute card. Let me show you the card and tomorrow I'm going to fill it out. So tomorrow I am gonna vlog just a little bit with you guys. Just gonna show you my outfit and show you the cake, how it looks when it's done. And then, um, yeah. So let me show you 
I have to clean up in the house, like just stuff starts to accumulate, like build up. So I need to clean up um, right after I'm done with y'all. Um, so I got her this cute little card. Look how cute. It's from Home Goods. They have really good cards there and for good prices. This is only $2.99. But it has the little horses and stuff. I thought this was so cute. And um, I had to get it for her. So she appreciates cards. I like to get cards for people that appreciate them and like put them up and like them. <laughs> There's some people that just don't care. They just take the money and like get rid of the cards. But I thought this was beautiful. So I had to get it for her. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to finish um, editing and then cleaning up. I will see y'all tomorrow. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow and it'll be a good day. I have my doctor's appointment in the morning and then I'm going to come home and frost a cake for my sister. And then what else? Um, fill out her card, get ready, and I'll show you guys my outfit in the mirror. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in the morning. It is Thursday today. I bought these flowers yesterday. Now I'm going to put them in these cute little um, vases, very tiny and skinny. So I have four vases I'm gonna to take today to my sister's little party. I'm putting the flower food in really quick. Each one fills out her card already. So. And then we went to, I had my doctor's appointment today. Um, just my two weeks, it was good. They were doing great. Okay, threw on this dress, this yellow dress, and just have loose curls on. So, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Catching my breath. Um, okay, so these are mini roses. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little stender falling. Um, they are full, so let's see here. I'm trying to see which ones. Like this one's pretty. I'm gonna cut some of the leaves off. But I do like the greenery of the roses because it makes it look a little more fuller. Then I'm gonna go ahead and see how much I need to cut off. more <laughs> that looks pretty look how pretty that looks look how pretty so I'm gonna do these for these I might do it I'll cut it a little shorter just because it is heavy let's see this one Yeah, I like that. Look how cute, and they look so like tight. I like that. So let me cut this one a little bit shorter. Roses, rose stems are long. Yeah, that looks prettier. Pretty. Okay, let's see here. long. I've had, um, in my room, in my vase, I, um, Preston got me flowers last for Mother's Day. Those flowers lasted very long, so roses do last long if you're looking for a flower. They last about a week and a half for me, 
Almost two. There we go. So pretty. Let's see here. Pretty. There we go. <laughs> Roses from Trader Joe's. You cannot go wrong. And then these little guys, I'm going to fill um, a little vase I have right here. Let's fill it. Might as well fill this cute little vase and I can put it here or by the TV. Cut some of the leaves. And I'm going to put some on the cake as well, so. Okay, so um, this is my little base. I'm going to put that on my TV. There is extra. They're so pretty. And then I'm going to use the leftovers over here for her cake. And now let's go frost the cake together. Okay, so I just came from Dunkin', just got my Dunkin' coffee, got the Dunkin' medium iced decaf coffee, one pump of caramel, and two creams. Mm. It's been a gloomy day, and I may, I feel like it's making me, feel like, just kind of, like, not as productive, I want to say. Like, even just, like, being home and stuff, I'm like, this weather it needs, this June gloom needs to go. It needs to go. It says the sun, sun is coming out at 4. It's already 3 some. Like 3.30. So I'm like, I don't know. Let me see what time it is. It's 3.24. I'm like, is this sun going to go away? So, um, yes. <laughs> I'm going to go back home and put, um, I think I'm going to put the roses on the cake. I'll do that with you. And then put the cake in the box. And then help Preston, um, Probably pick his outfit really quick if he hasn't already. And then we're going to head out at 4.30 and then we're going to go to my sister's party. So I'm probably going to end the vlog right before Press and I leave to the party um, because we'll probably get home late. So just trying to see when to end this vlog because it is more of a shorter vlog on this vlog. Um, yes, so <laughs> I need to go home, go home and get a sweater, a cardigan for the coastal French cowgirl, um, because it is cold out here. It's just cold. Um, but yeah, so let's go put the decorations on the cake, put the cake in the box, and then we'll head out. Okay, here are the flowers. I'm thinking about putting one right here. Oh, sorry, the camera's not even there. Let me place you guys down really quick so 
you can see. Okay, I'm trying to see. The cleaner part of the cake. <laughs> okay, here's the cake. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little happy birthday sign and then the roses right there at the bottom. There we go. Alrighty, so we did the cake. I feel like I was, I did everything so quick today, but I just showed you the cake. Now we are gonna head out in like 10 minutes. I have my dress on. Look, you can see my little belly button, it's so precious. And then I have my Golo Cowgirl boots. And then I have a jean jacket around my shoulders. I will probably put it on. It is a little cold outside, so here we are. We're gonna head out. I might take my camera to film, um, a little bit of the party, but we'll see. Or I might just do it on my phone. I think that might be easier. But, um, yeah, we are heading out. Um, and I probably will close when I get back. Um, alrighty, guys. Total coastal French cowgirl in my outfit. <laughs> well, we just got back from having dinner for my sister's birthday party. It was so much fun. We had a great time. Now we are home. I... Got all, I brought all the flowers back because my sister and brother-in-law are staying at a hotel. So um, they're gonna take the flowers. So I get them and I'm just gonna put them together in one vase. And um, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna put them together in one vase. And then yeah, the cake, everyone loved the cake. It went, it's gone. Like, so I cut everyone a slice and then my sister's like, we might need to take the cake to the hotel. They took it to the hotel and they're gonna enjoy it. But it was a really good, good, good night. I just wanna end the um, vlog here and say thank you so much for watching. Remember, a new vlog comes out every Monday and every Thursday at 8 a.m. just for you. Um, comment down below what you want me to film on my vlogs. Um, if you guys have questions about styling, hair, and makeup, um, I will, do my best to film a video for you about that. I'm um, gonna cover that subject, even fashion. So yes, just um, comment down below, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in a couple days. It's only a couple days now. It used to be every Monday. <laughs> so um, yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.